So he goes to Hamadan. And the reason he goes to Hamadan is he wants to see if he can learn more from some other philosophers. And the tradition in Western Iran at the time was when a philosopher comes and visits a town, that philosopher has to debate one of the local philosophers. So it's like a sports match. When you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because then the audience will hear new ideas that are coming from this other place. But also it's a way to say, oh, look, our philosophy was better than, our philosopher was better than your philosopher. So there's a little bit of like competition as well. It's not just for the sake of spreading ideas. And in the debate with this guy, anyway, in the debate with this guy, Abu, Abu al-Qasim, that's his name. In the debate with Abu al-Qasim, it got personal and it got really heated. And Ibn Sina threw at him biggest insult he could conceive of. It's 10.15 and he says, you don't know logic. At that point, that guy loses it and he's, they're fighting back and forth. Long story short, Ibn Sina isn't satisfied after the debate and keeps going after the guy. So then the guy says, I might not know logic, but I think you took the style of the Quran and then used it for your writings, which in my mind is immoral. We shouldn't be doing that. It's like plagiarism. And it also makes you look like you're trying to pretend you have divine inspiration. And so now Ibn Sina feels like he's in really big trouble because he may have crossed some kind of boundary there. It's not true. It doesn't matter. The accusation has happened. To make things worse, Abu al-Qasim gets a job now working for Sayyid uh, Shirin. So he's now moved to Ray. So Ibn Sina goes, you know what? I'm going to move to Hamadan. So the philosophers switch towns.